Hey guys, this is Sakura and I'm one of the co-founders of Blogette. Today we're going to show you guys how to create a list in MailChimp. So, for those of you guys who do not know what MailChimp is, it is an email service provider. An email service provider is a platform that allows you to create newsletters and um, organize your list that you have. Uh, so, um, and creating a newsletter for your blog is super important because remember, your list is gold. So it's just another way for you to market people um, outside of your social media. So it's a really good way to engage your audience with your business or your blog. So with that said, MailChimp is definitely one of our favorites. Um, here we are in MailChimp. This is our dashboard um, and we're going to create a list. So let's click over and go to lists at the top. Perfect. And at the right hand side, you will see create list. And here we go. Create list. Perfect. And I'll give you list names from email. So let's just say blogettes workshop. And then here we're going to select our uh, from email. So we'll just do info at blogettes.com. And then we want it to come from blogettes. So we just fill that in. And then remind people how they got on your list. This is something that's important. So if you ha held an event and that's where you collected these email addresses, then you should write a reminder why. Um, they've been opted in. So remember when you opt people into your list and import these lists, you have to have permission. So, you know, whether they're in, they're uh, signing up for it themselves on your website or you actually ask permission and they wrote their email address. You can't just steal people's email addresses and import them in your list because that's a big no-no and you would be considered a spammer. Let's say blogging event. Okay. Contact information from the list is very important. So add that in, add your phone number. And then notifications is definitely up to you if you want a daily summary of your subscription. If someone unsubscribed, you get notified, totally up to you. Hit save. And then I have no subscribers as of right now. So let's say I have an Excel sheet, okay? And I want to import my subscribers. Import subscribers. And then here we are. It says, you know, is my list allowed? You can only import lists of people who sign up at your website, no third party lists, prospects, lists that you scrape from other websites. So remember, you do not want to be a scammer. So you want to make sure that you have permission to be adding these people into your email service provider. So you can either, there's so many different ways import from a CSV or text file, TXT file, copy and paste from Excel, import list from Constant Contact, which is another email service provider. Um, and you can also do it from Google Drive. A lot of people use Google Drive. Uh, if you're using Eventbrite, go for it. So there are so many different ways, but today we're just gonna go from import from a CSV. All right, so import from CSV. And then, we're going to find that list. So here we go. Log it to import list. So this is a CSV, which stands for comma separated values. Okay. So with the CSV file, I already have sections. So kind of like in Excel, you can say first name, email, you know, last name. Any fields that you want to add, you can add it into Excel, make it a CSV, upload it, and it'll automatically read it. So for example, right here, here's our first column. These are all email addresses. So I'm going to select email address, save. That's going to go to the next column. So these, this one over here, this column is all the first names. So I'm going to say save, last name, save. Okay, and if you don't want a column imported, like if there's any information, whether maybe their gender, um, and you don't want that information in your list, you don't have to add it in. You can just say skip, and I'll say will not be imported. So you can just skip. I'm gonna skip everything because I just want their email, first name, and last name. Skip. Perfect. 
So it says, hooray, all columns have matched. Click complete import below to finish. Okay, and I'm gonna hit complete import. So the reason why I'm getting this information is because those are already emails that are already uploaded into our MailChimp account, but if they were completely new email addresses, um, they would it would just say hooray. But that's really it when it comes to importing. Again, you can copy and paste from Excel. There are so many different ways to import it, but as far as CSV and if you want things specifically organized with columns, CSV is definitely a great option, but these um, other third parties will give you the same uh, format. So that's really it, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks so much for joining us and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks guys, bye.